Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Reads Episode 19 of Fire Force. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, I thought it would be God. But okay, in a way, he's considered God. Okay. I'm going to see a show today. I'm going to make up my baby. Oh, there he is! Oh, thank you. Sorry. Well, yeah, I don't think any of y'all are going to die. Y'all be fine, but you never know. when he's talking about her. Away. <laughs> huh. Who is that? Iris? See, that's got to be a premonition for something later on.
Oh. Something about that strange foot. See, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna make a really stupid guess, and this is how I don't think it's true. What if <laughs> I can't even say it because I'm laughing about it. And I'm like, I don't think it's true. What if, and this is how, like, I really don't think this is true. What if both, because the reason why he's having this premonition, what if Shinra and Iris, because I'm guessing that is Iris with longer hair, um, are the new Adam and Eve, essentially? I, I, I don't know. That's why I, I think it's a bogus little guess, but who, who knows? That's got to mean something, but I ain't gonna, we ain't going to get answers to it until probably later on in this series. Like, what if Iris is, like, the key to something? Excuse me. Everything's probably gonna be fine, right? Like nothing bad's gonna happen while you're down there. Uh. See, Valkyrie, you can't do that. Like, literally, you scared me, <laughs> including myself. Now, see, if I hear the words, let's split up, gang, mm -mm. Mm-hmm. 
Bro, this might be like fucking silent hell up in this bitch. You never know. See, this is how y'all gonna get split up. Huh. Oh my god. Cody! Excuse me? And then watch the smoke's gonna clear and everybody's gonna fucking go. Not everybody can be anywhere. So cute. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> well, of course. How can you be the real one with a deep voice? <laughs> Yes, Iris, clearly. Exactly! Of course.
you know, Maki can do a lot by herself. I mean, this the same girl who kicked our pants in her ass. Oh, there's no way to watch it. Jesus! <laughs> Holy shit, Maki. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, I kind of need her to prove herself after the last time. So hopefully she does really good. I mean, but we're almost done with the episode. What did Obi tell you? You don't even want to go. Oh, no, there we go. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's gonna fucking dodge that. Come on now. Ha, 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 ha. 
Oh shit, Iris, oh my god! Did his guts come out or some shit? I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> He's so cute. Oh god. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, even though yeah, Tommy Key is still under suspension, I feel like maybe later on, once her suspension is completely done, she may want to stay at eight and not go back to first. I don't know. I just feel like at first several episodes ago, yes, she did belong there. But now that she's so accompanied and friends with everybody at 8th, I felt like she's going to be like, yeah, I want to stay here. I don't want to go back to first. Because, you know, she's not the same person who left first, um, you know, after before her suspension going into 8th. She's a completely different character, and she's changed through the fact of so many freaking episodes ever since the first time we saw her officially. Yes, yeah, she still does her fan servicey things and it, they're still funny as hell. And some people either take them seriously or they don't or they just crack up out of like me because of reasons. Even though there are some women who don't watch this damn show and they get so pissed at it and me, I'm just like <laughs> I just need the laughter. But I'm happy for her. I'm happy that she's, you know, evolving and she's able to do certain things. I do love the fact that the second half of this episode are, was really about her because the first half was literally, you know, Shinra and Show. My God, seeing them as babies was so effing cute. Like, oh my God, I want Show. He's so fucking adorable. Like, dude, no, he's just, oh my God. Oh, what a really yes, you were just the, the cutest baby I've ever seen. Can we also freaking talk about Maki? I mean, we all know Maki since epi like episode I think one, two, or three when she kicked Bunch and Arthur's ass. We all knew Maki could hold her own. Even but it's still even in this episode, still freaking proves that yes, Maki, best freaking girl, can still hold her own. And I mean same thing with Iris, because Iris is another one of my favorite characters. I mean even though Iris doesn't really fight, she's there as a sister and literally to put prayer in before they kill. And so, I mean, she can hold her own, too. I mean, so, yeah, don't count Iris out because I have seen a lot of people on Twitter and then through Tumblr saying that, you know, Iris isn't that important. And I'm like, hada, hada, hada. she she's just as important as anyone else in this damn show. And you can't count her out, even though, yes, yeah, she doesn't fight. She's there. She's still an important ass character. So you have to like give her some damn credit. I mean, she's adorable as fuck. And her and Tom, her and my, Tom and Mickey look so cute together. I can't. It just, it gives me way too many feels just to see those two. <laughs> but the fact is, like, they both kicked the assassin's ass. I mean, I'm guessing like his blood or whatever that they like. Um, censored <laughs> was on it. I would have rather like to seen whatever was censored with probably like guts or whatever because I don't really give a shit because I mean I've seen it in horror movies you're gonna see it no matter what it's there but I get the fact that yeah in an anime you don't really want to see all that stuff especially in a show like this because of the fact is it doesn't give you that horror aspect because one minute someone can get killed the next minute some someone can't um but it doesn't seem like that show that would show a lot of gore and guts and certain things. But I, I don't know. I mean, as someone who is very curious and who wants to know what the freak they were showing, we'll probably never see it help. Probably in the manga, it's like that, too. You never know. But it was a damn good episode. But now I'm hoping... I think, um... I think Hina's by himself. Because I assume that Hina would have been with Maki... But Hina's gotta be by himself because Maki ran away from him when he told her 
to come back. Of course, I'm guessing either Shinra and Arthur are either together or alone. I just... <laughs> the fucking Tommy thing with her and an old man with a deep ass... <laughs> with a deep ass voice got me so much. We're like, really, Iris? <laughs> But really, we're gonna know until next week to see who all is together and who all is separate. Thank God, freaking no! But then, okay, hold on, no. Uh, let me change that. Um, I believe Arthur's by himself, Hina's by himself, and Shinra and Victor are together because he went after Victor. So yeah, that's how it's possibly be, possibly gonna be because Valkan and Obi are together, Tamaki and Iris are together, Maki's by herself. Um. And the only ones that we don't really know accounted for are the ones that I basically already said. So, I mean, you know, in episode 20, we ain't gonna know. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Trace episode 19 of Fire Force. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. <clears throat> also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys with you all next Friday for episode 20. Bye, guys. <laughs>